It's a ski lift. And they're using it as a public seating. RV ahead of me like has a, a towing a vehicle and then that vehicle also has bicycles on it and it's like if you're gonna use the RV you're looking at long-term parking and something you have to return back to if you detach that vehicle and then go for a drive somewhere to go for a bicycle ride you still got to like return to that RV and most likely you're looking for places uh, to pay to, to, to park overnight and stuff with the RV it really is kind of a hassle these days. Probably was a lot more ben uh, enjoyable in the mid 1900s. When you say so long suckers, is that more appropriate for when you're leaving rather than when you're watching somebody else leave? This is a bar on a Saturday night. I can't tell if it's live. I think it's live. Well, this roof is one of the most excessive things I've ever seen underneath a train track bridge. One of the most unnecessary things. Built entirely for fun. It's like a double roof. Very nice homes on this river or lake extension, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Every night at 10 o'clock, at least for the past two nights, they've, they've uh, set off that alarm. It makes no sense why they would do that at 10 o'clock. That's for emergencies. What is this? Hey. It's kind of fast. Oh, fast, it's fast. I don't even want to go this way. Yep, this is just, hey, what are those? Hawthorne? Glacier. All right. Okay. This is said to be a dead end. I'm guessing it's a dead end to an apartment complex. Hmm. Yeah. Something like that. Flathead travel. Very nice gas station roof. There's a big food bank sign off in the distance. I want to just check out the times. I never did any research behind the Safeway. I actually, I think I saw it on the map but ignored it. and in this in Montana area Hawthorne are at their most tender 
very, very tender. Okay, what, what business are they? Flathead Industries or Whitefish Thrift? Thing looks very nice. Very modern. I usually don't expect them to look so nice. City of Voida? Oh, okay. Yeah, this might be more of a warehouse. Okay, Thursday distribution, 12 to 1. I got a crane. And that's Safeway over there. All right, so the uh, train from Kansas to Texas is here. I think that Montana is a little bit of a, a roundabout way to get between the two states. A steamer? What kind of a steamer? Looks like it just flattens the ground. Just a big heavy for road construction. And then this, this is the maybe traditional, historic Missoula, Missoula train station up here, which is still pretty active. Diesel fuel trains. And they got something on display over there, looks in good shape. I wonder if, I wonder if we can get inside. That'd be, about this hour, Sunday. It probably is closed six o'clock or so. It's on a Sunday. I doubt it'd be open at this time. This thing looks pretty unique. It's uh, got it's got more of a separation, like it's built up higher off of the grounds than other ones I've seen. Larger, maybe it's just for more heavy duty work. A fence doesn't really help for seeing things. And there's four X's at, uh, for some reason. I don't understand why they got it set up like that. is actually taking, instead of marking each individual park stall, Missoula is covering it with one machine per block, instead of a machine per stall. You even have to pay at the park? Public parking, prepay a machine, must have license plate number.
I wonder if the bank, does the bank charge money for parking in their stalls? Parking over here, they got parking problems. I really pack them in tight. <laughs> I don't believe anybody's working on a Sunday evening. and many of them are willing to walk a good half mile to get there bringing their own chairs this is the library it's maybe over a quarter of a mile from that park the concert in the park all right so just a block down from the library they got street cleaning first Tuesday of every month I think so once a month you, know, you shouldn't be parking here at all <laughs> All day. Street cleaning district. Violators towed. Oh yeah, they, they won't even bother to ticket first. Okay, first Tuesday every other month. You shouldn't park here. First Tuesday, April. They skip May. June, skip July. August, skip September and then October. They'll do a street cleaning once every two months. And they don't want you on this street. I'd be willing to cross Madison Street if, it, if I don't have to park too far down for parking. Because this is two blocks from the library, which is very reasonable. And they, they two blocks from the library, heading away from the downtown. And you got this street cleaning. every other month 82 is pretty reasonable
and I like the parking over here. It looks pretty open. And it looks like people are pretty relaxed around here.